Last time on Cyberfile. We made our way to the fisheries, only to be locked out by a Peach Wilkins. He'll let us in, but only after we find a research camera and take pictures of spider splicers. The exploration of Neptune's bounty begins. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Bioshock with Cyberfile. So we are on our way to uh, get the research camera, which I know is right around the corner. And there's a shit ton of... well... There goes my, uh, security bot. Um, there's a shit ton of turrets in this area, so we're probably gonna get beat up at least a little bit on our way to, uh, hack these. And I actually, I hear another, uh, big daddy, little sister combo, for better or for worse, so. I guess for better, because, you know, we do, do want to try and get them all, so. Uh, that's our next move, I think. Um, okay, we're gonna have to go up and around here because you can see the way that the, uh, our alarm blocks are. And as we go on, we'll see more and more alarm blocks and we'll see it'll get harder and harder to make a path. So, that's where the challenge for that comes from. Okay, and the other thing I want to do is I don't want these turrets to fire at each other because, uh, that would really suck. Also, I was, um, you know, while I'm editing my footage and such, I take into account what you're seeing and, and such. So I think that almost every time I've been hacking, I've had something to say. Um, but at some point, just hack it. Fuck. Um, at, at some point, I won't have anything to say during the hacking portions, and I'll just cut them out. So then you don't have to... Uh, both watch this and also hear me uh, clicking constantly. Um, I've moved the microphone from the first couple episodes to try and pick up less clicking, and while editing I try to remove as much clicking as possible from the audio, but uh, it's not always possible, so I apologize. Um, I'll try to get better. Um, but yeah. Okay, I think that that's all of the turrets in the area. Um, that we now have hacked in any- holy shit! What the hell are they all doing over there? Well, a lot of them. I was gonna say that our uh, turrets would probably make short work of them, but they were smart enough to stay out of the room. Where the hell did they all come from? That was a little wild. Okay. But this area is mostly clear. Oh, shit, 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 shit. That is another thing that we definitely do not want to be seen by. Yeah, nice. Get right underneath it. Just the perfect place to hack it. And you don't actually even have to uh, electrocute it with Electrobolt to, to hack a security camera, so that's nice. Underneath a security camera is the safest place you can be. <laughs> Um, you know, until you hack it anyway. Okay, now we can do a little exploring, and we're definitely gonna need to because we spent a couple first aid kits last fight or two, so. Guess we got a splicer friend hanging out somewhere. Nice, nice, nice. Can I get those bandages? Okay. I think there might be a dialogue somewhere around here. Maybe not. Okay, moving on. So there's a security camera in this room, and I don't think it's worth hacking. I think I'm just going to blow it up. Our first uh, audio diary of the episode. Let's hear it. Hanging now, man. That's what we've come to. Now look, I don't make the laws here. I just enforce them. But I didn't come to rapture the string men up for running contraband. If Ryan and his crew have their law, then they can have my badge. And it's safe to hack. So basically that last, um... 
they, they are they are hanging people for smuggling so penalty of death for smuggling things into rapture that aren't allowed like uh, I believe Bibles are not allowed in rapture in fact here's a bunch of them so uh, things of that nature As you can see, these are our smuggler's crates filled with the Bibles and Jesuses and also Merlot. Okay, so we got a one-way screen here so we don't have to worry about them. But here's our, uh, our research camera. Now this thing fucking sucks. I'll be completely honest with you, this is the worst part of the game, right next to hacking. Um, what you need to do, I mean you don't have to, but it makes the game much much easier to take camp pictures. And as you can see, as you research things, you'll get bonuses. So there's five ranks of bonuses, and so you'll do more damage, or you can get tonics and plasmids, and they're all very useful and important, so you have to do this. And the best way to do this is to just keep taking pictures over and over until your score gets too low, because basically you get a penalty for um, photographing the same uh, target. So we're going to be photographing everything, like every enemy we're going to be photographing, because the, the, it's too good not to photograph. And you'll get bonuses if there's more uh, enemies in the picture. Uh, you'll get bonuses if it's an action shot, um, whatever the game determines an action shot is. But, uh, get ready to see the camera screen a lot until we've maxed out all of our research. So, sorry, but that's just how it be. And you also have to take pictures of let's see yeah okay there's a zoom we have to take pictures of robots too including security cameras turrets and the uh fly robot you guys so we're just gonna mash picture what's nice too is that if you don't get enough um score from a picture you don't actually lose that film. So that's nice. And here's a pretty cool tonic that you use almost never, but um, we are going to use it here. Trick the security system. Set security bots and turrets on your enemies. So yeah, this camera is obviously looking right at that guy. So you can do that and it will on the security system, which also gives us an opportunity to get some snapshots on the security bots. Or at least two shots, because now I'm out of film. So we'll need to uh, buy more film, because remember, what we need to do is we need to um, actually, maybe we'll just hack that camera. Who knows? Could be useful. Um, remember, we need to take three pictures of spider splicers in order to, um, in order to progress, basically. Okay, got that security camera. Let's see, sometimes they self-film in the ammo machines, but looks like not. So we're, we're definitely going to need to find a, um a vending machine so that we can purchase some more film. But for now, add a discovery. This little slug has come along and glued together all the crazy ideas I've had since the war. It doesn't just heal damaged cells, it resurrects them. I can bend the double helix. Black can be reborn, white, tall, short, weak, strong. You have the research camera? Good. Get us 
time to get to work for old Peachy. Take the man's pictures, and let's get the hell out of this place. Thanks for cutting off my audio diary atlas, but I think I was pretty much done, so. Okay, so that one was kind of hard to, to hear, so I'm going to uh, replay that one for you. If things were bad enough, things that even our water system sprung a leak. Yep, that's right. Irrigation system in Arcadia is taking on seawater. I told Mr. Ryan when we were building this place, either you build her like a bathtub, or she's gonna turn into a sewer. No, Madonna, he said. We're not gonna build no bathtub. We're gonna build Eden. So Rapture is leaking, as we know. Hi, Spider Splicer. Goodbye. He's gonna go hide and we'll get a better chance to get a picture of him later. Oh, come on, how did you not die? Get out of here. Alright, but here's where we can buy our film. And before we do so, I'm going to hack it, um, because we're going to be buying quite a lot of film. So, it'd be nice to save a couple of bucks, if we can help it. Okay, so, we'll save three bucks per film that we buy, so, we'll just fill up on that. Looks like we're pretty good on the rest of the stuff, though, so. Alright, camera time. So here we go, we got a new tonic this time as our uh, reward for, for researching. So now we got Scrounger, which is pretty cool. You can research something to get different loot. So that's kind of neat. Um, is it better than either one of these? I don't know. I think I'm going to store it. It's a cool plasmid to have, but I mean, I don't think it really matters that much. I expect that to be the shotgun. I'm so used to Doom where 3 is always the shotgun, but 4 is the shotgun in this game. So. Did I play the latest uh, thing? I feel like I didn't. Atlas, stop interrupting my text or my audio diaries. I met Ryan the day me and the lads were installing the bathroom plumbing up in his Cody Park Avenue digs. Oi, says he. What's with all the brass fittings? General contractor had me down for the tip. Well, I says, I suppose it's the contractor then who will be bailing out your loo once a fortnight, is it? If it's a price you're worried about, I'll be picking up the brass, so not to worry, Squire. Why would you be doing that, says he? Well, Mr. Ryan, profit or not, no man bells water out of privies built by Bill was done. Next day I find out, I'm Ryan's new general contractor. I'm gonna replay that one too because this, uh, taking all these photos is kinda getting in the way of the audio. I don't think we're gonna see much more action down here, so I'm just gonna destroy that security camera. Alright, let's replay that. I met Ryan the day me and the lads were installed in the bathroom plumbing up in Cody Park Avenue Dix. Wait, says it. What's with all the brass things? General contractor had me down for the tip. Well, I says, I suppose it's the contractor then who will be bailing out the blue one this fortnight, is it? If it's price you're worried about, I'll be picking up the brass, so not to worry, Squire. And why would you be doing that, says he? Well, Mr. Ryan, profit or not, no man bells water out of privies built by Bill McDonough. Next day I find out, I'm Ryan's new general, Ryan's new general contractor. That's kind of funny. Okay, right here I know that there is a turret. And we need photos of turrets as well. Because why not? Gotta research everything, my guys. Like I said, you're gonna be seeing a lot of this. 
And as you can hear, there's a splicer who just joined us in the room as well. So we'll hack this, and honestly, this thing might actually do most of the work for us. Time to get some more snappy snappies. Get used to it. Say multiple subjects. We're about to get pistol whipped. But it's for science! It's for the research! There's an upgraded version of Static Discharge too, so we'll just replace our regular Static Discharge with that. Shut up, Peak Dwarkins. We'll get this to you soon. Rapture's changing, but rule out. We can't see the wolves in the woods. It's Fontaine fella. He's a crook and a proper tea leaf, but he's got the atom, and that makes him the governor. Sinking the profits back into bigger and better plasmids, building them Fontaine poor houses, like Fontaine recruiting centers. When we know it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play that one again too because yeah, it's cameras and I can't hear it to tell you about it. What the fuck? Whoa, that dodge roll there. Um, so my sound cut out. My sound cut out, and I don't know why. Hopefully it didn't cut out for you guys. But I think that's a good spot to end the episode for, for now. So I will see you guys on the very next episode, and I'll try to figure out this audio thing. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe for more Cyberfile content, and if you liked this video, show me with that little thumbs up button. If you liked this video, you might like one of my other videos. You can click right on the boxes to jump to them. Cyberfile, offline.